everyone and welcome to another Black Ops 2 video. This one I haven't got Swarm in, but I do get a Lodestar. I've wanted to show you this because I know it's very difficult to uh, get a high score streak on Hijacked because it's such a close quarter map um, and also because it's very hustle and bustle so the spawns flip quite quickly. So um, I managed to work this game um, pretty well to be able to get a Lodestar and once you do get such a high score streak like low star warthog swarm you know you are going to get a hell of a lot of kills with it so um... i have cut out the beginning of this game i started off just after i died i started this video just after i died i probably got about four or five kills i think because i started it off very slowly i was just working in the buildings and under the ground uh... as you will see in this video i do very rarely actually leave the underground area and also the two buildings the only time i leave it is at the end of the map uh, end of the game, sorry, not end of the map. Um, <coughs> and I leave it as well to get a couple of tags, but it's literally run out, run back in. It's not like I'm running through the middle because that is where I have most of my deaths, is through the middle. I've worked that out that uh, if, as long as I stay away from the middle area and running through, I will have a lot less deaths because most people run through the side building in the middle, which is uh, the main area where people work this game. They all. Uh, They'll run through from their spawn straight to there. Very little people now run underground, which I find is good for me because it's very easy to flank your enemy team. You can run up, just check out the door, and then you're up in the stairs where they're camped at the window, take them out, which is a very easy way of getting points because uh, if you have your sound on, you can hear a Betty pop up, and then you just duck down, or if it's a Claymore, then uh, you can get out of the way of lasers with them. Shock charges you hear zapping around, so them you know are around as well. So it's not so difficult to be able to get up there, kill them. It's very simple to do. Um, so I do run this game very slowly. I don't want to do any risky manoeuvres in it because I really wanted to get a decent score streak. So I do manage to play well, <laughs> uh, which is a bit of a shock for me. Sometimes I will have absolute crappers of the games, which sucks because... One minute I'll be playing absolutely tremendous, next minute I'll be playing absolutely poorly. Um, but this game I find the spawns were flipping really, really quickly. My team was rushing them too much. Um, I do find that can be really frustrating when your team uh, do doesn't give me a chance to get up there, really. But we'll be rushing and then we'll be taking them out too quickly. It's just like, you need to sit back from their spawn a little bit. A bit like in Nuketown just uh, don't pass the house, you can sit up on the balcony sit uh, in the garage area and just keep letting them spawn and then you'll get the teammate just running to the fence and just killing them, it's just like stay back, you'll get more kills instead of rushing in if you just keep letting them spawn but uh, there we go, I'll get my warthog here now I do do a little bit of a silly manoeuvre here, I do instead of sitting back to get my swarm and uh, sitting in my load star, I do think if I bring my load star in after I get my swarm and bring my swarm as well, it might bring me back up. But I run out and stupidly let get killed, which sucks. So I didn't get my swarm in this, but I do get a load star, and it is so overpowered on this because they just can't get out their spawns. Really, it, I w wasn't impressed with my team rushing up to their spawn here, uh, which made it flip. And obviously, when it flips and they're spawning over the other side where the helicopter is they can get under the roof so you can't actually get them as well now I do get quite a lot of kills off of these I don't actually have that many gun kills th throughout the game but with my swarm and my load star in I get quite a few kills it's what gets me my high KD ratio at the end it's not a really impressive one I wouldn't say it's absolutely amazing but it's uh, it is about a 4 KD ratio which is still quite good for a small map a lot of people usually average about 1.2, 1.3 KD ratio for these. I know my overall KD ratio is about 1.5. It was, it has gone down a lot ever since I've been trying to master guns, because the SVU and the S12 put my KD ratio down a load. So uh, it was about 1.6 at one point, but it's gone down to 1.51 now. Hopefully, I'll get that back up. Now I'm starting to run uh, high score streaks like this that are getting me good kills per death ratio and me taking games more easy instead of me rushing out trying to get as many as I can to get the headshots or get my gun up levels to be able to master it but um, it was it, this is probably my favorite map as well so every time I get it I'm like yes so I do try my best to uh, get a decent gameplay on this because I like uh, being able to put them up 
just because I find these are my better games. I always play better in maps that I like than maps I don't like, uh, such as um, Standoff. I did like that, but now it's gone really downhill. I do not like that anywhere near as much as I used to. And um, there's a couple of other maps that I will never have a decent game with, w ga decent game on, which really does annoy me because every now and then I'll be playing. Uh, really well throughout the day and then as soon as that map comes it will put me on my absolutely terrible streak and I just won't be able to get any score streaks in no matter what it is and I'll just be getting kill death, kill death, kill death which I hate it when that happens oh, so I needed a drink, my mouth's getting really dry um, but I still managed to without, um, without getting swarm I still managed to get a decent amount of kills I can only imagine what sort of score I would have finished on if I did get Swarm. Um, it would have been a really good one, but once again, I still was a bit worried on this as my Warthog came in and it did kill a lot of my teammates, so I was expecting them to want to kill me because I know a lot of people do that. If I, my Warthog could kill them while they're on a score streak, they'll get, get their own back and kill me. So I do try and stay out of the way of my teammates uh, as much as I can. As you can see, I'm, I'm always opposite end to them. I will never be near a teammate unless I'm running past them to go somewhere else um, which I find is the best way because then you're not ha you're not in the risk of getting shot by them and having your uh, score streak ruined at all now this is where I've run out and get killed but it's the end of the game I thought I'd quickly go out and get a couple of tags so I did finish on 43 for 9 and a 4000 score which is pretty good um, so I was quite impressed with that I didn't get actually many confirms and I got very few denies as well which uh, no, lowers the points down quite a bit. So that's the end of the video. Please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do follow me on Twitter as well because that's where I put up information on what I'm doing. Um, so cheers for watching this guys. I'll be back again soon with more. Speak to you all again soon. Bye bye.